Adobe have just released a version of their flagship photo editing software for the iPad, and it's called Photoshop Touch. After a couple of days with the final version, we can say we're very impressed and reckon lots of casual users of Photoshop CS5 may actually be able to migrate to the new touchscreen version. Here's five things you need to know about Photoshop Touch for iPad. Like the full version, it has layers. You have a fully implemented layer system which works much the same way as CS5, including blending and opacity options. Double tap a layer and you can see a 3D gyroscope enabled rendition of your work. Handy for getting an overall grasp of what's going on when you've only got 10 inches to look at. One of the relatively late features to arrive on the desktop version was Warp. Amazingly, it is present in Photoshop Touch, albeit a little less functional but still very impressive. We couldn't find a liquify tool though. The most powerful feature of Photoshop to a professional photographer has always been its super accurate level and curve tools. Both present in the touch version and definitely not to be sniffed at. In our test, the curves accepted 11 points of change per channel. Channels are split into red, green, blue and all. The key to any speedy Photoshop session is learning and setting up your own keyboard shortcuts. As far as we can tell, this is not possible on Photoshop Touch with the Apple Bluetooth keyboard or iPad keyboard dock. One thing we couldn't find was layer effects such as stroke or colour overlay, but there seems to be some alternatives for these options in the new ampersand menu, which seems to represent text input. You also can't group layers into folders, so highly complex projects might be a bit of an issue. In an interesting development, Adobe allow you to gain accuracy by adding a cursor to your iPad screen. Just touch the grab handle about an inch from the actual cursor and move it to whatever position you like. Then, when you're ready to click or drag, you click the bottom left button with your other hand until you want to finish your click. It all sounds very complicated, but after 20 seconds of practice, you'll be using the marquee tool to a similar degree of accuracy you get with your mouse. There's our overview of the new Photoshop for iPad. In its current version, you won't be seeing it at professional photo studios, but general users will certainly use it to create some high quality images for websites or photo albums. Apps for this show that the iPad can be far more than just a content consuming tool, and at only £6.99, we call it a bargain.